My first challenge I think I faced was going to school because at home I was never really, I know I had a disability, but I was sheltered a lot. So going into the school system, that's where I actually understood, wow, you're different from the others because I, I was bullied by teacher, teachers and students. And I went on to secondary, the same thing happened. Then I went on to university and that's where I actually, you know, it was like, wow, even at the university level, you know, we at the tertiary level here and I'm being discriminated as a visually impaired student and sitting on different boards and trying to see how best we can find solutions for persons with disability on campus. A few persons still wasn't really getting to to understand her. So the few that I actually engaged with, I must say I was happy that they made a few changes. Recently, I took, I took a part in the Miss Emancipation pageant and I was the first person with a disability to ever take part in the pageant. I did that because I wanted to have the platform to give the confidence to other little girls like myself or even little boys or young adults who don't have the confidence to go out there and speak in front of thousands of persons to showcase themselves and to just show the public like, listen, we may have a disability, but that doesn't stop us from doing what we want to do. And that is my motivation every day. Like, don't let your disability stop you. Surround yourself with great parents, people and great company. And I think you will have a wonderful life. Of course, challenges, but yes. <laughs> and um, I always wanted to walk, you know, walk on the stage and look all beautiful in the gowns. So when I had that opportunity, I applied. And I was happy that they were inclusive. You know, because not a lot of organizations are very inclusive. So to have them be inclusive, that's one thing. I was like, okay, I can do this. That was the first confidence that I had. And then being there among all of these other women who are intelligent and beautiful and to actually sit among them and explain my life as a person with disability, it was amazing because they got to see me as a person with a disability and see how I operate. And, you know, probably... You know, from the stereotypical view that they probably had of a person with a disability, they don't have that anymore because I embody confidence, you know, intelligence. So I'm like, yes, I can do this. And for the younger folks that have a disability and they're still within the shadow, they're scared to come out there, look at me. Look at the other persons with disability that are making a very great impact in Guyana. Please come forward, come on board, and see how best you can make a difference because if you don't speak, we won't know.